Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, February 14th. A very happy Valentine's Day to you. More on that later. It is a cold day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Temperatures in the 20s. Snow is a-coming. Uh, but it is February and March will be here before you know it with all its lion and lamb stuff going on. So, ah, uh, This is take two. I uh, was talking and I noticed that my audio monitor wasn't responding and I said, ah, I've been talking for five minutes without recording anything. But I got some beautiful video. We'll, we're still learning here, guys. We'll get it eventually. So, smoking my... Stanwell model something or the other that I do not know. Uh, this pipe I refurbished, uh, one of my early refurbishment series actually. And uh, boy, I've learned a lot since then, but that's another story. This pipe is uh, kind of my Valentine's Day slash anniversary pipe. And if you go back and watch that series, you'll understand why. But just to very briefly tell you, um, I bought this pipe on the day that my wife and I had our first date of sorts. Um, it was, it wasn't an, an, a regular date for, you know, considering we were in our, our late twenties, we uh, went about it the way you do when you're in like sixth grade and, you know, Bobby's having a party and you check with Sally and say, are you going to be at the party too? And then you, yeah, I'm going to go to the party, and then you go home, and you're thinking, woohoo, we're going to go to the party. That's the kind of thing it was. We <laughs> we both knew that we were going to be at this party, but we were excited about it. And uh, it was, if I remember right, it was moving into uh, early fall in Pittsburgh, and we were going to be outdoors for some of this party, and I, being a starving graduate student, probably hadn't bought a jacket in you know, four years, and the one I had was probably all covered with, uh, as my friend Ian used to put it, lab crap. So that was in reference to the stuff that was on my jacket. Uh, I, I wasn't, uh, you know, I was a guy. So anyway, I went to Century 3 Mall and I bought myself a nifty new jacket. And I also stopped into the tinderbox because that's what you do when you go to Century 3 Mall back in the 1990s. And bought this Stanwell pipe. So it's got some memories for me. And I am smoking some Cornell and Deal Plantation Evening from 2015. The reason being is that back then I smoked a lot of Kia blends, usually number 10 Downing Street or uh, Bagel Slices. And I could have had either of those today. I just didn't think I had enough. Maybe I'll get it right next year. So Valentine's Day, yeah. Was there ever a holiday, and, and I hesitate to even call it a holiday, that caused more, I don't know, ill will? <laughs> a holiday that, that's supposed to be about love that actually makes people unhappy. Uh, you know, it's it's funny. I I, I look back and I kind of remember going through these, these phases. Like there was the, I'm not really involved with anyone seriously enough to consider Valentine's Day important, period. And during that period, I was just like, oh, this is a waste of time. I don't care. And then you get involved with someone important and you start, you know, you, you go through that, oh, I got to go and buy flowers. And, and, you know, it's this enforced good boyfriend thing that, you know, I'm already doing all this stuff right. And now there's just this one day where I have to do it double. And then you get married, and when you get married, there's this period that 
you know, like every day is Valentine's Day, and that, that lasts about a week. And your mileage may vary. And for a while, you're trudging through life, and you're, you know, oh, I've got to gotta work late. No, geez, it's, you know, I'm here, i got to get flowers or something. And, you know, you walk through the door with that bouquet of crappy grocery store flowers that was the only one left that looked half alive. And, but she's still happy to see it. But what you, you realize when you step back from that, and, and, you, and you're coming to the other side of it, th there's two things, really. You know, no matter how poorly you may have ad addressed this day, you know, no matter how poorly you may have planned, even to the point of just not having anything, you know, just saying, I'm sorry, the... You know, She's on the other side of it, and she understands. And she's giving back to you as much as you're giving to her. That's something pretty special. You know, it's, it's in the moment, probably not very special, but looking back on it, it kind of is. And now I'm at the point where we kind of want this day, you know, we kind of want to be able to say, hey, we love one another, and, and that's what this day is about, you know, and it's different from an anniversary. It's kind of interesting to think about this, but an anniversary is about the two of you. Valentine's Day is more about you, if you think about it. It's about you expressing your love for someone else, you saying, I love you. And you receiving that. Now, sure, that, that takes two people, but that's what this is about. Whereas an anniversary is more about us. And, you know, so in a sense, it's, it's, it's a selfish holiday. Now, you know, the, the corporate enforcement of love and card buying. What about the single people? I know, I know. But you know what? Don't don't begrudge the, the the anyone a chance to do something that makes them happy, and, unless it directly affects you. You know. You know, if you want to dress up like a rabbit and, and, and hop around and, and eat grass. If it makes you happy, well, I'm not gonna watch you do it, but you know, if you do it in my yard, I'm gonna shoot you. But beyond that, I don't care. Oh, you know, people want to have Valentine's Day, and I'm not in a mood for it. I say, Go have Valentine's Day. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know. I'm so unplugged from, like, you know, television and popular culture and stuff. I don't know how pervasive it is anymore. I can understand if you're being inundated by it every 10 minutes. It, it, yeah, it can get annoying, but it goes away. And as a Catholic, I'm embarrassed to say that I have no idea who St. Valentine was or what the, the, the history of St. Valentine's Day is. I do recall that it has little, if, if anything, to do with the personage of St. Valentine. And I think St. Valentine may have been one of these saints where it's a little iffy, um, a lot of apocryphal stuff, and we're not really sure. But we shall, we shall ignore all that. I, I know I looked it up at some point. I'm sorry, I just don't remember. Pardon me while I get a pipe clean. This is becoming a regular part of the video. I should probably move the pipe cleaners.
Uh, so what are your plans for today? You know, are you are you a single guy and or gal, and you're just looking forward to the day being over? Uh, that's okay. Are you in a relationship and just fed up with it? And uh, not the relationship, but with the concept of Valentine's Day and just wishing it would be over? Or is this something you're embracing and, and you're going to have fun with it? And what are we doing today? I have no idea. I know there is some food to be cooked, I think. Uh, like I think I said this the other day. My wife went shopping and said she bought something special. I don't know. Um, we don't have gifts. We're not exchanging gifts. We're not exchanging cards. Uh, we're just going to spend some time together. Yeah, Valentine's Day. There you have it. So what else is happening? So pipe work is rolling along. Um, got a bit stuck because uh, I was working on a stem and I wound up with an issue where I sanded into the airway. Uh, it happens sometimes. And I had, a, I had to redesign the stem. It, uh, yeah, anyway, I, I, I needed to start basically from square one with that. So that, I lost about two weeks there. And I'm trying to do, I, I actually got a couple of people to send me pipes, so I'm sort of trying to stagger things a bit. I didn't want to do that, but I was starting to feel so far behind on the waiting list that I thought it best that I you know, start that rolling a bit more. So, But I'll get caught up. I do have a couple of projects um, that I'm going to be videoing. Uh, one, a, a collaboration with my good friend Johnny Ford. Johnny, I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, have to have the time to actually set up the camera and, and do the, the video work. And I have a video starting this Monday, a video series starting this Monday. Finally got through the editing, had to do a bunch of voiceovers, but I'm fairly happy with the way, you know, it's never perfect, but it's a shop video. It, it, it. This is um, a pipe from uh, Late 1800s, early 1900s, very old pipe, over 100 years old. I think you're really going to enjoy this series. And by request, I spent a lot of time focused on stem making in this in this uh, particular video series. So if you want to know more about stem making, this is going to be the series to watch. Uh, I have an entire like 30 minute video that's nothing but lathe work. Uh, that was one of the problems because the camera was being kind of bulky and I had to I had to go in and voice over everything uh, for, for that video uh, and that that takes time so I, and I didn't want to start posting the first episode until I was sure that all of the episodes were gonna be okay so as of yesterday I now know they're all gonna be okay so on Monday you will see <laughs> episode one of a new uh, uh, restoration series heavily focused on stem making and I can really get going sometimes can I <laughs> uh. so what does today hold as I said I'm not really sure I know we're gonna you know maybe watch a movie or some such uh, we got a little bit of housework type things that we we need to get done. I might save that for tomorrow. See if I can convince uh, Mrs. Kingrod to save it for tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, folks, I've taken up enough of your Valentine's Sunday. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday and looking forward to a fantastic week ahead. To all you folks that are going to enjoy Valentine's Day with, with someone special, you enjoy that and, and all the best. And for all of you folks that wish I would stop talking about Valentine's Day, I will stop now.
Take care, my friends, and until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.